What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends you love. Um, I know 2020 was a hectic year to say the least, but we are still here. I have a wife, three kids, I have my family, everyone in good health, and I have you guys that still support my channel. So for that, I am grateful. So today we're gonna continue with my Mitsubishi. There's still a few more parts that I need to paint, the hood, the trunk, and uh, the front and rear bumpers. So today we're gonna start with the pink, which is the front, rear bumper, and the tailgate. The trunk, the trunk, I'm gonna paint it pink. Um, I painted the roof black, and a lot of people noticed the dents that were on the roof, and some on the body, but mostly on the roof because it's black, especially in gloss black, so gloss really pops out those dents so I don't really care much about the dents but uh, the trunk over here I just you know decided to go with pink so we're gonna start with the pink first and then we'll just move the parts over to this side of the, of the, of the garage and we'll go ahead and paint the um, black this is the Everstar value this was $48 This is gonna be the first time this paint job's gonna see light. <laughs> Show you guys just a real quick view outside with the paint out in direct sunlight. I'm also going to move the Tahoe. Oh, yeah. So the car is out. There's just the aftermath. <laughs> I'm going to end up painting the floors, anyways, with some. Um, garage epoxy paints or something uh, but now I have some room here so I could put both bumpers in the trunk and uh, put the fans out like blowing out in the garage door set the filters and uh, just give them a scuff and we'll get ready to paint Okay, so I already went ahead and finished sanding the bumpers and the trunk lid. Um, on the trunk, I put some plastic 
just so I won't get paint from the inside of the trunk. I just want to keep the original color. Over here underneath the garage doors, I have the fans pointing out uh, with some filters. I have my plastic wall right there. Um, so yeah, these are already sanded. I already wiped them down. The paint is right here. I already went ahead and shook it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it two to one with acetone. Spray gun is the cobalt. Uh, and I think um, with this one I'm using whatever the gun says 35 psi so that's what I'm using and I just adjust from there uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys in a tripod we'll start painting
that is barely the first coat and it's pretty light. Uh, a little bit heavier than a tech coat, but it's not so heavy as full coverage. So you can still see part of the grays or you know, paint from behind. So we're just uh, leaving in just a few minutes and then we'll throw a second coat. I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse, that way it doesn't take so long. And uh, yeah, we're gonna continue. Alright guys, that is it for this video. I was planning on painting these parts and then moving them off to a side that way I could finish painting the hood in black. But I took a few hours, uh, you know, finished sanding these parts and then, you know, by the time I finished painting, you know, it got dark outside. So I'll just do the hood in my own time. But for these, that's it. Hopefully, you know, like I'll do the hood on my own time. And that way I can show you guys the car already hopefully assembled or we'll, we'll assemble it on video. Uh, just putting these parts, the windows, the mirrors and all that stuff. There's, there's a few pieces that I want to paint but with rattle cans like the side mirrors. Those are the F1s. Uh, right here in the bumper in the front. If you guys were wondering <clears throat> about the canards or splitters or whatever. Uh, where I got those, I actually made those myself. I ordered some HDPE plastic, high density polyethylene plastic, and I just got the shape. I have a video on it, I'll probably link it in the description so you guys can see that one if you want. But that's gonna be it for the paint. Um, definitely still waiting, you know, so everything is complete. That way I can do a wet sign above. I'll link that video of when I buff the gray paint but it's the same <clears throat> the same uh, technique you know uh, how I wet sand and buff the Rust-Oleum paint so everything looking pretty good here's that little dent right here it's not that bad it's just a little warp but there's a reason why I didn't uh, you can see right here on the top or this side it also has warped, but it has a few imperfections. This car was rear-ended. Also, this bumper. This is a rear one. So you can see that it has a few. It is warped, so it was rear-ended. So I never got a new bumper or anything like that. This license plate tray. This I'm gonna respray it in black, gloss black or something. This one's the one called right here. So, that one's gonna go in black. Too much pink if I do. So, just painted pink. The wiper cowl, that one goes in black. The F1 mirrors go in black. It's just pink and black on my car. So, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hope to see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.